Uh, we are now connected with C Today correspondents in Malaysia, Mr. Basir Siswo. Hello, Mr. Basir. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam Jakarta. Hey, okay. So how's the um, situation there in <laughs> Kuala Lumpur in the very first day of Ramadan? Alhamdulillah, similar to Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, Malaysia is celebrating Ramadan for the first time after two years. Mosques are open for Taraweeh prayers last night. Uh, but, you know, the social distancing is still being observed. Uh, and people still need to wear a mask going to the, to the mosque. But it is a wonderful feeling right now because after two years of lockdown, it's so good to be able to go back for Taraweeh prayers in, uh, in Malaysia. Of course. Uh, hi, Ambassador Paul here. Um, as we mentioned earlier, earlier hi, Paul. Uh, last month, uh, Malaysia had decided to transition uh, from the pandemic to an endemic phase of COVID-19. How is this, mm -hmm. how have you seen this mm -hmm. impacting Ramadan celebrations in Malaysia and how are people feeling about it? Oh, it makes a lot of difference because since the border was open on April 1st, a few days ago, uh, people are really overjoyed because with the relaxation of the SOPs, now people could go back to the villages without any limitations. All the uh, state borders are open. Uh, we could go back and visit our family in the, during Ramadan. And of course in Eid, because the last two Ramadan and the last two Eid has been a total nightmare. Uh, we couldn't move, we couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't go shopping, we couldn't even go iftar in public places. So this time, this time, it's a fantastic Ramadan. Great. Wow, that was beautiful. Mr. Basser, uh, have there been any regulation which were prepared to accommodate those who wants to make homecoming journey in this year's Ramadan and Eid al Fitri? Absolutely no restrictions. All the borders are wow. open. Mm -hmm. You're free to move in and out from the city to, to the villages. And people are really overjoyed. I mean, especially shopping, you know. <laughs> uh, last year, in fact, shopping was so limited. Yeah. yeah. And especially the, 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 the Ramadan, the Ramadan Bazaar, is, which is a very popular thing. You know, the, 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 the streets are selling all kinds of um, food and dishes for iftar. And that was closed down for two years. People are going crazy. Right. And, you know, you can only do so much of, of you know, uh, ordering uh, from, from Grab or from... from from yeah. other delivery service, but you need to be there to feel the atmosphere of the Ramadan and Iftar of with course. the people. Yes, of course. Now, you did mention about the Ramadan bazaars. Now, obviously, the Ramadan bazaars and also events actually mm -hmm. is taking place in some locations um, across Kuala Lumpur itself. Everybody is always yeah. happy about that, mm -hmm. not just in Malaysia, obviously, mm -hmm. here in Indonesia also. But mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me what mm -hmm. preparations? Can, uh, or measures uh, that have been taken in anticipation of uh, such events for the um, uh, bazaar? Well, although the bazaar, uh, the Ramadan bazaar is completely open, but there are still strict protocols because you have to scan your, your app before you go in. Right. And there are certain social distancing uh, guidelines that you have to observe. So it's not a completely free for all. Uh, people have been advised to, well, be careful because we are in endemic, but you still need to observe certain discipline. Mm -hmm. Of course. All right, uh, Basir, thank you so much for your report, and we do wish you a safe and happy Ramadan season. We hope to check in with you again uh, sometime during this month. Take care. Have an awesome weekend. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Jakarta. All right. Happy Ramadan. Thank you. Happy Ramadan. That was Basir Sisfo reporting from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. That was nice information, right?